Hi guys, Kevin here. For dinner tonight, we're fixing crispy baked chicken parmesan. The chicken is going to be extra crispy because I'm going to coat it with pork panko instead of ordinary breadcrumbs. Pork panko, which comes in a box like this, is just ground up pork rind. It contains zero carbs. So heat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let's get started on this classic Italian dish. First things first, crack two large eggs into a shallow bowl or pie plate and then brutally beat them with a fork or a flat whisk. And then in another shallow bowl or pie plate, add three ounces of pork panko. Pork panko, as I said, is, uh, has zero carbs and it's gluten-free. And to the pork panko, we're going to add this much garlic powder. That's about a teaspoon. And we're also going to add about this much onion powder. That's about half a teaspoon. We're also going to add some grinds of black pepper and a half cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to mix all of this together with a spoon or with our impeccably clean fingers. I should probably mention that pork panko has a wonderful smoky scent. On to the chicken. And for this, we're using hand-trimmed, thin-sliced breast cutlets. I'm sure you can find thin-sliced breast cutlets in any supermarket. And this package weighs almost two pounds, but you really only need, oh, one and a half or 1.8 pounds. That's enough for probably six servings. Now for every chicken cutlet, dip it first in the egg. Let any excess egg drip off and then drop it in the pork rind mixture and push it down so that the crumbs really adhere to the breast, like so. And then transfer each breast onto a baking sheet. And I'm using a parchment lined baking sheet, but you don't have to. Parchment is just for easy cleanup. And I'll finish these off and come right back to you. We're back and here are the breaded chicken breasts. And to help the panko to brown in the oven, we're going to give each cutlet a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put these in the oven for exactly 20 minutes and then I'll come back. And here are the chicken breasts, all browned and crisp and wow, they really look appetizing. But we're not finished. We need about a cup of tomato sauce. And you could use your own homemade tomato sauce or store-bought. It's entirely up to you. And what we do is spoon some of the sauce over each breast like so. Yeah, I know some people use marinara for chicken parmesan, but I find marinara is too thin. So just regular tomato sauce for me. And then we're going to smooth out the sauce or spread it a little bit with the back of the spoon. Here we go. And then the final touch is shredded mozzarella. And you don't have to put gobs and gobs of mozzarella on the chicken. Just a light sprinkling will do. I know when I see chicken parmesan at restaurants, well actually diners are the, the worst offenders, they put huge gobs of mozzarella on the chicken and it's really just too filling. And then this 
is going to go back into the oven for about five minutes or just until the cheese melts. And here's the finished chicken parmesan, extra crispy. It's gluten-free too, by the way. I also have some lightly dressed spinach greens. So let's plate up one of these numbers. Now, you might like to serve your chicken parmesan on a bed of pasta. However, my other half is on a low carb diet. So we're just enjoying this with the, sorry, I reached my hand in here, shame on me. We're enjoying ours with just the spinach. Please don't tell my other half that I stuck my hand in the salad, okay? It's just between you and me. And of course, we have to have a taste test. Look at this. Bottoms up. I hope you'll give this very simple and incredibly delicious dish a try. We're going to have our dinner right now and then maybe have a little bike ride afterwards. Meantime, if you feel like subscribing, please do so. And definitely leave a comment because I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.